For the last several seasons, there's been talk about the NBA expanding. If you look at it, the NBA is already a global game with four of the top five MVP candidates being international players. I'm talking about Giannis, Luka, Mm -hmm. Embiid, and Nikola Jokic. Should the NBA expand to 34 teams to allow for younger players to get more time? I don't care one way or the other, right? I think that expanding to 34 teams, expanding to the 32 teams that's been, you know, talked about um, consistently lately. At the end of the day, if you don't have it, you're not going to play. (laughs) <laughs> that's what it, what it boils down to so yeah it's just going to cause the pool of players there's going to be more players that can be in the league more players that get some money i'm with it i'm with it another coach more jobs i mean so i get the financial benefit of it um from the expenditure and the income i understand it why, why not why wouldn't the league want to do it right um but it's not going to mean that just because there's more young players playing that they're going to be any better it's just going to be playing it's just going to be we might as well just extend the g league i mean what what are we supposed to gain from it unless it is to bring more jobs to a particular city and i was reading somewhere where they're talking about las vegas and possibly reintroducing seattle again Well, if they do that, that's great. More jobs for people. You know, poor players can play. More players can get this money. It's it's, 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 it's okay either way. I I just don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. What about you? I say no as well. I, I, I just think that the NBA should be for elite athletes. And the problem is there should be an age limit. Mm. not a lower age limit well maybe yeah lower age limit but definitely a maximum no. age limit you got mm-hmm. players like Danny Green taking up roster spots you Donis Haslam you know some might argue Blake Griffin I mean they they're playing past their prime right now and Danny Green is not that. even playing at all <laughs> okay so if 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 the argument is Should we expand to more teams, 32, 34? Perhaps the discussion needs to be rerouted to say, can we put a cap on age? Everybody is not an anomaly like LeBron James. They're just not. Once in a lifetime talent right there. Okay. And let that be what it is. But I have to agree with you. We need to probably discuss what is the age limit in the NBA, which could give more young players an opportunity to play as opposed to expanding the league. Oh, that is Mm -hmm. a good argument. I see that thought. Yeah, I mean, right now we have 30 teams. They play 82 games plus the preseason. Then if you go to the playoffs, that's another 16. We're having this huge load management issue. It just means that, Uh, you know, what what happens to the parity in the league? I'm looking at the Houston Rockets, San Antonio Spurs, Orlando Magic, Detroit Pistons, the teams filled with young players. Dang, (laughs) They're not winning ball games. They're not winning ball games. So can you imagine adding two to four more teams that are not winning ball games? It, it just kind of ruins <laughs> the product in the NBA. Right. So then if we're talking about adding two to four more teams uh, to the league, now are we talking about extending who can make it to the playoffs? Is, are we going to now have to talk about that? We, as, as opposed to 18, should we now do 10? So we have more, play, you know, the play in tournament. Now do we need to go down from, uh, is it? Instead of a seven to nine, is it seven to ten? Is it now a ten to uh, fourteen? Like, yeah, yeah. What what is it? When will it stop? Yeah. So I think the discussion needs to be a little bit adjusted. I do say this: there will be another expansion to the NBA. We will be thirty-two teams by the time I would say within the next five years. And here's why: LeBron James will own a team. He will be a pr- the principal owner of a team. I don't care what nobody say. He already put it out there. That means the league is working on it right now. And he's going to be an owner of a team. And I think I read an article or either a tweet or a post or something that said he wanted to do it in Vegas. It is Mm -hmm. going to happen. Get ready. Well, yeah. Well, then that means that Seattle and I think we should probably give the Toronto Raptors some company and maybe have a team in Vancouver. You know, it has to be an even number. If, if mm-hmm. LeBron gets one, that's 31 teams. We need another one. So maybe Seattle. Yeah. And I also read somewhere that Adam Silver is considering Mexico as well. Mm, interesting. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. When you got the, the whole Miami Heat team on load management because they didn't want to play in Mexico City. I think that's <laughs> a sign that that's probably not a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I do believe it will take an adjustment. Um, when they do it, it is going to happen. I, I do believe this. I believe that um, it will happen eventually, maybe within the next five years. It could even be the next 10 years. But we'll see at least 32 more teams um, in the league. But once that happens, just know that everything else becomes more convoluted, becomes more complicated. Now you got to make all these unnecessary adjustments. And so when that happens, it will disrupt the even flow of how the league is running right now. Mm -hmm. They'll get eventually get back on track, but it will be a, a minor disruption. And it could be, you know, it, it won't be fun during that time period. But again, as people always do, we adjust. So it'll be okay eventually. But Let's yeah. talk about some of these players that are overstaying their welcome in the NBA. I mean, Udonis Haslam, as much as a leader he is, you know, for the Miami Heat, he's a staple. Put him on the coaching staff, like you suggested, you know, a couple videos, several videos ago. We're looking at Danny Green with the Memphis Grizzlies, a young team, don't seem to need him. He hasn't played all season. He's adding no value to the team. And Andre Iguodala, the Golden State Warriors. Stop holding up. You mentioned what about what you think about Blake Griffin? You know, Blake, you know, he'll come in and he might he might make a good defensive play. So he's kind of on the bubble for me. But you know, in the recent in my recent memory, I remember Lamarcus Aldridge with the Brooklyn Nets. You know, Paul Millsap here recently. They they stayed too long. And what they ended up doing is it kind of changed the way that we view them as basketball players, you know, and potentially making it into the Hall of Fame. And, you know, it's just you can't stay too long in this league. It is a young man's league. Let's just face it. Let's just face it. And let's not get blinded by the fact that LeBron James is an outlier. He's an outlier. That's it, y'all. It's OK. And there may be another outlier, but not enough to um, not consider maybe an age, maximum age that you can play in the league should be instituted. Let's not, mm -hmm. let's not discount that. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. What y'all think? 